Welcome back everybody, Alexander here. It's been a while since I posted a new video, but the wait is over. Grab your popcorn and watch me break down the process of how I animated this Shopify logo. Let's get started. So first of all, I've created a new composition in which I animated the S letter of the Shopify logo. I started with an almost oval shape and then I animated the position and the path so it looks like the shape is jumping and when it comes down it morphs into the S letter. Now for the second composition I've created a shopping cart and I animated the position from left to right. When the cart stops in the middle I wanted to separate the left wheel so I duplicated the cart layer and I left inside only the wheel shape. The next shape is the light green part of the logo, whose path I animated to morph from a full rectangular shape, filling all the background, to the actual left part of the logo. The next shape, the dark green part, is just the right part of the logo. Next, I inserted the as letter composition from before and I applied the liquify effect. With this effect, I molded the shape to fit into the card, so I keyframed the distortion mesh and the distortion percentage to keep this effect just for a couple of frames. The next shape is the second handle of the bag, for this I quickly animated the pet and the stroke it. The next part is about you, so if you have any questions or suggestions just let me know in the comments. If not, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Alright, let's move on with the next part. So for this one I needed a character, so I downloaded a character vector from andro.co, I've imported the illustration into Adobe Illustrator and I prepared the layers for importing into After Effects. In After Effects, I created a new composition with a new character, I structured the layers into body parts and then I animated the walk cycle with the Rubber Horse plugin. In the next composition, I've inserted the character composition and I animated the position from left to right. Then I've applied the Find Edges effect to make the character appear in a more interesting way than just with the opacity animation. Then I duplicated the character and again I animated the position to move forward. So the reason I duplicated the character was because I had to attach the bag to her hand, so this needed to be done after the logo animation was finished. Same thing with the logo composition. This one, logo for character, was needed just for the final frame of the logo animation. You can see that it has a mask on the hand to look like it's held by the woman. And the original logo composition is just the original logo animation being played at the beginning. Besides that, I've also created a handshake shape which tracks the woman's hand and I used this layer to have my logo composition parented to this. In this way, the logo swung left and right, making it look more realistic. The final layer is just the original Shopify logo masked to appear after the character. In the final composition, I added some noise effect animated with the time expression and I also added some curves to create some contrast on the color. Then I've inserted some sound effects and that's all, here's the final result.